Saturday morning on the uh, 16th of November 2013. I'm about to head off for a jog. It's just past sunrise, so it is It's uh, 10 minutes past 8. Sunrise was 10 minutes to 8. Um, it's surprisingly not too cold. I think it's about 8, maybe 9 degrees uh, Celsius just now. I'm up at the Highlands in a little village called King Craig where my parents have got a house. And uh, there's come definitely a good bunch of jogs that can be done here. Um, but for today's one, I was thinking of going around the Suey Hill, which is a hill which is totally that way. However, you have to go through a, a, a farm with lots of sheepdogs and uh, it would just be very, very noisy. So instead, I'm going down to a place called Lockinch. No, well, yes, Lockinch, and then Feshy Bridge, and then kind of getting lost around there. But just now, nice and early morning, nobody around, not too cold, a little breeze, and uh, some snow on the hills as well. So this is the bridge which goes over one of the estuaries of Lockinge. Over there is Osprey Island. We have an osprey, it stays there. Oh, and it feels cold now. Alvi or Loch Inge Church, cute, very cute little church up on a hill. Sister got married there at Christmas time once. Well, only time she got married there at Christmas time. And then on this path, you just follow the public footpath to Feshy Bridge. So you don't follow the road there. You end up going along past this farm. Not entirely sure where the footpath goes. It's obviously not through there. I'm actually in. <laughs> the driveway. Oh, there's grouse and a cow. Uh, I think I go this way. Okay, muddy path. And now in Scotland, there is no um, like trespassing law or anything like that. Or I think everyone has the right of way if they want to go anywhere. Uh, which is great if you want to go for a jog or if you want to go hill walking somewhere. But you've obviously got to follow all the rules like opening and closing the gates properly um, but uh, you can pretty much go anywhere footpath this way Ooh. it's great being out and just seeing slowly the place starting to brighten up and the hills getting a little bit brighter but it's also really nice just doing it in awesome time with all the leaves on the ground just just gorgeous just now Well signposted. Slightly creepy buildings. Slightly creepy trees. Slightly creepy wind. So this is a, the first glimpse of the Feshi, which is a river that comes down from the hills. Um, but also, if you like creepy, then uh, King Craig or Feshi or whatever it is, does it in shed loads. There's this really kind of creepy art sculpture area uh, around here where there's all these faces just carved into wood really creepy in fact hold on here they are now if that's not creepy that that is most definitely cre creepy there's another one oh look at that so you've got head at the top but also this kind of hand coming out the side. <laughs> Weird, creepy, scary forest with no one else here. And what looks like little, uh, looks like Bear Grylls has been making a, a house. Definitely great place to film a horror film or for like a cool kind of creepy photo shoot absolutely after the sculpture trail then you just kind of come off the path again or there's the road and then we're going down this way down to a car park but then you get a nice walk or jog uh, right along the side of Feshi no yes Feshi
And then, so pretty much three kilometers from the start, from the entrance to King Creek, this is where you come to a gorgeous little picnic area in the summer. Beautiful. Uh, and you get this amazing tree just into the rocks, looking right over into this very, very cold, peaty water. So it's very dark water. And then there is Feshi Bridge, which if you're really bad at you jump off, but it's far too scary and really, really cold. So yeah, down there, it is deep enough to jump in, but you've got only a tiny space between the rock and giant rock there. Um, and from all the way there down, very, very scary. Uh, and incredibly cold and so many air bubbles it's pretty much difficult to get back out of the water um, but great place whenever the snow lies getting shots of the snow and the rocks and a blue sky I've done a photo of that in the past really want to get that again but this Feshi Bridge love this place oh. When you're down there, does it look so high? When you're up here, you think not a chance do I want to jump into that. And that's the water quite high at the moment as well. Sometimes it's a lot less high. So it's obviously been raining and snowing and that's all the melt water. Oh, and there's a car. Anyway, so the rest of the path, we go up past these houses and this is right of way to D side and Athol by Glenfeshi. Glenfeshi Road, West Side. Scottish right of way access society Edinburgh. So yeah, we can just kind of go wherever we want. And that way is this way. So I think that's the last bit I see of Feshi. And uh, from here on, I don't know where I'm going. As in, I've been coming up to the Highlands. I'm 30 years old now. I've been here for 30 years. Well, I've been coming up here for 30 years. I've never been kind of fit or outdoorsy enough to ever go for a jog in the morning, in winter. Uh, but now, I've gone along the path, I don't really know where it goes. I've got a rough idea, I looked at Google Maps, and I think it does a big loop. But I don't know where I'm going. So that's the fun. Now this is where I really don't know where to go. I see there's a post here with a yellow strip around it. There's kind of a path that goes that way, but I can't really see where it goes. But yeah, I've got more of a main path going that way, which has a gate on it. I really, I'm sure the map said to go up that way, but that really just doesn't even look. I don't know whether that post is to say go up that way, or that post is like, that's that way. Uh, I, uh, uh, don't like the look of that way, so I'm going to carry on along the road here. Now I think I've actually just walked into a farm. Cows, calves, and bulls in the next area. You can still pass through, but it's at your own risk. Ugh. Shit, I'm shit, I'm wearing red. And that's all the cows over there. And they're coming after me. Ah, finally. Okay, it's six and a bit kilometers. I finally know where we are. Uh, Ballantine. This is a road which would go up to another bit, which is quite interesting, uh, called the Youth Lockins. I think I think it's that, or maybe they're still down there. No, I think they're further on. Uh, it's just these really creepy black black lakes, locks, uh, which again I did a video of me and them last winter time. Um, but this is the road to go back into uh, back towards. Lockinch, uh, Lockinch Water Sports, or even Feshi Bridge, going all the way back. So we've done a nice big round loop. Uh, okay, looks like the Lockins are on the way back in. In fact, I'm going to show you them, because uh, it's going to be cool seeing them at this time in the morning, and nobody else is around, and it's kind of creepy, and there's kind of a blue sky as well. Amazing. Uh, uh, morning. 
So, looks like other joggers are out at this time of the morning as well, around here. Now, so these lochs which are here are uh, where I think the reason there's a big glacier over Scotland and it had a massive stone and effectively it just dropped a giant stone here, it's made a big hole and that's where the water has been staying. But the water here is black, that is proper, proper black. It's very high as well just now, but like within literally centimetres it's oh so dark and so cold um but this is a place which if uh, if you've got kids or something and you're pushing a pram you can do it around here there's no hills it's got nice little paths everywhere um and it's not really dangerous or anything like that uh maybe prams might be a little bit difficult over that but uh nice place it's usually out of the wind and you can park your car down here as well but oh the water is high and this is a little bit sketchy ah. so click the link up on the right just now and you see the video which were me and my little nephew uh, I went jumping in into the water in here and you'd be amazed just how deep it is very quickly so it's just like if you've got kids bring armbands quite surprised I was right it is actually youth lockins and so it's one two three four locks there so definitely something to come and see actually having a good little look at that map there found out that there's another way to go so instead of going along that main road I go along this way and kind of over a hill and go somewhere else so again this is gonna be another bit which I don't actually know where I'm going or what it's like. So this, that would be the path which I've ever walked, which I have walked along. But here, ooh, red, red marker. That must mean it's difficult. So off the path again. This is brilliant. The weather report said it's going to be windy, cold and raining. Or 40% of rain. Yeah, I see blue sky. And there's no wind in here. I think we're probably in a place where it's, uh, you're just out of the wind. Just saying. One thing I would say, there's two things. Oh, it's gorgeous. I love this. It's anyway. There's two things I'd like more about this. If, if, two things which I think could make this place better. One, more wildlife. Like, start right here. I've seen a couple of grouse and a couple of cows. Like, if this was America, there'd be eagles and squirrels. Uh, but I think it'd be cooler if there's more, just more deer or something to just, you know, get a fright from, apart from cows. And um, that, or if I'm doing these jogs, do it with like a, a dog. You know, I'd like to do it with a dog. Or Kim, my wife, but I think a dog would probably be easier to deal with. Uh, and they would enjoy it all the way. And they wouldn't be constantly going, are we meant to go that way? <sighs> yeah, anyway. What a morning view, the sun just hitting there. So here is where there is the, the kind of turn off. So if you go up there, that takes you up onto the hill, red path, uh, but instead we're going down this way and you might just be able to see that there is a lock inch over there. And that hill in the foreground, background even, is uh, the Suey Hill, which is definitely where uh, uh, my, our dog, Bob, is buried up there. Again, click the link up there to see uh, the, did I do a video? Yes, I think I did. A video of burying Bob, our dog, up there. But uh, yes. Lovely morning for a, for a jog in November, in my shorts. Yes. So that's obviously the entrance or the place where you park your car if you're going uh, to go that way. So that, what I've just run through is Inch Reich Forest. Uh, Everness, Ross and... Yeah, so that way is the old road to Canusi. This way to King Craig and Aviemore. The old road. So again, we don't want to do this at night time if there's cars driving along here. So, instead of just going along the road, I just saw another thing saying Inch Marshes Nature Reserve. Again, not been to all these places. And it's saying, dog walkers, you're welcome to walk your dog here. However, this is a nature reserve. And can you help us by keeping control of your dog? So this is the Badenoch Way. Badenoch Way. Is that like the West Highland Way, but bigger? Uh, so, off we go off track again. And, uh, and... No, nothing interesting. Could have been something interesting, but it's not. Whoa. Yes, off-road. So, Loch Side Trail. Ah. 
Now see if this was summertime and someone was picking me up, I would totally go for a paddle in the water and cool down my legs after that jog. So far has been 10 kilometers. What a, what a view, what, oh, oh, look at it. Look at it, it's so pretty, so pretty. Gotta look for ospreys, maybe that's an osprey or maybe it's a duck. But yes, ah, oh, gorgeous. So we started from kind of over there. So turn this way. This way gets us to the Lock Inge Water Sports Centre. So I think this is a place to go if you want to go sh fishing. So this is the lock-in water sport area, it's like cabins and stuff. I think if you did it, if, if, you, if you made this your starting point, then that's probably about an eight kilometer loop to go all the way around. Uh, you can do kayaking, you can do other things, play with ducks. Um, you can do motor sports, I don't think. You can, you can do sailing, but uh, windsurfing, but not uh, anything, like not jet skiing or anything around here. And you can also go fishing in that thing as well. Ooh, much more nature around here. And if you've got kids, there's a kid's kingdom. Awesome. The funny thing about this place is that building there used to be at the top of Cairngorm Mountain, called the Ptarmigan. They used to get like pies and sausage rolls, but for some reason, brought it all the way down here. Cool. There's even a dry ski slope. So, bye bye, Lock Inch Water Sports, international water sports. Back up to King Creek stores. Hello, hello Mr. Horse. How are you today? Do you like my GoPro? Bye! Bye horsies! Now with a bit more sun in the sky and colour in the scene. What a beautiful view over Loch Inge and the Spey River. Ah, oh, can you imagine dinosaurs around here? Dead there. So you can do a canoe or a kayak from Loch Inge Water Sports all the way down here, all the way until you're then in Abbey Moor, which is five miles away. Long kayaking, definitely like three hours worth of. But yeah, lovely. So if you make King Quig stores your start and end point, then that's a 12 kilometer run, which is not too hilly, not too many inclines or anything, fairly flat, but nice and varied. <laughs> 